Hello, this is Thor Young with Bear Bull Traders, and I would like to do a recap for you on my trades today. I traded three stocks today, AMD, Mattel, and Grubhub. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about these trades because I wanted to show you guys that you can make trades throughout the day that are going to be profitable. Now, why do I want to show you that? Well, the reason is because I want you to know that we don't need to be in a rush to find trades every day. There are trades that are occurring constantly throughout the day. And being overly obsessed with a particular ticker at a particular time may not necessarily be the best way to go. So what I've been trying to do is structure my day into certain types of trades and strategies that work for the periods of time that I'm in, and then using my L2 and my tape to really judge good times of when to get in and get out of these trades. So first trade we're going to look at today is AMD. So AMD, you can see here on my one minute chart, um, it was actually um, opening up um, above VWAP today, and I was really looking for it for a long play off of VWAP. The reason was because we had a lot of asks and good numbers sitting up above $33.20, which was above the previous daily level and the high of pre-market. So I was really looking to go uh, long into that level. So the thought that I had was basically a falling angel strategy for the opening range. And that strategy happens when it pulls back to VWAP, you long into VWAP, and then you get out from that. So you can see here, I did exactly that, fell back to VWAP, I took a long, got a partial, got a partial, and got stopped out. So un unfortunately, um, and fortunately, I have a rule that once I take partials, I don't let it run much past that or if all, especially in the opening range. And you can tell this is why this rule pays dividends, uh, because you can see it ripped through and had a really hard sell-off that I would not have survived or been happy holding on to. Now, fortunately, it came back up, it, and it got above the 200 here on my one minute chart and all of those large asks were still sitting there looking quite strong so I decided I'd long in one more time went in here and I got some quick partials at VWAP again uh, I, this is a split fill off of a market order and then uh, it came back this direction I have another partial here this partial I actually took because I reduced my shares down to 50 percent because I did not like that we made a lower high here on the one minute I was hoping for this high to at least match it or if not fall off but since we had this low here, I went ahead and took some off just in case. But we held, found some support, and the L2 started to look a lot more favorable. So I added back in here and then got pops all the way up to 33.30, which is what we were looking for. Um, after that, down here on my five-minute chart, you can see after my last partial, I held in and I got stopped out at a break-even. So at around the time here, I knew this trade was about done because we had failed and started to fall down. So I set my order, so I was off for my next trade. Um, at this point, we're in the 945 area, so I was really looking for something to do an ABCD pattern with, high of day breakout, um, something, you know, maybe an ascending triangle, something in that regard since we're around 15 minutes. So as you can see here with Grub, Grub made more or less our pretty classic pattern that we like to see. We had a strong opening here, uh, found a top, pulled back, it held VWAP, and then started to go up. Pretty much an ABCD pattern if you ask me. Uh, so the question is, is just timing when to get into this trade. Um, it was a little difficult for some to get into because of this candle right there. That upside down candle threw a lot. But since it was able to hold VWAP, I really felt like we had the strength in it. And the L2 was quite favorable. So um, if you look here on Grub, um, well, let's see, go back here. I went ahead and went long into Grub here at 34.20 because we started to ascend and we were holding the averages. If we lost uh, $34, I was going to get out. So it was a very reasonable risk, easy to take, and I got into it and took some partials. You can see initially all the way up to $35.41, and at that point, I was pretty, I was at my profit target for the day, so I thought I would let the uh, the rest run. So I put it in there, set a, set a stop on it, and let it go, and as you can see, got a nice pop up here to $36.50. Ended up taking a partial at $36 since it was losing momentum. I was hoping to hold for $37 but it was losing momentum, decided to get out of it. Um, and then it fell back to VWAP a little bit later and I got all out at $35. Um, Grub, I think, is starting to try and work its way back up there, but at that point, I don't I don't like the lack. It did bounce off of VWAP and start moving up, so it could still be holding, but at that point, I was done with it. 
and I'm ready to look for some uh, more trades. Now, if you're um, with Bear Bull Traders, um, if you're not, you may want to be. Um, if you want to trade with me, um, I go over a lot of questions, answer different things throughout the day, and I'm normally there from 1 o'clock to 2 or 3 Eastern, uh, depending on my schedule and what's going on. And um, I'll go over these. So today we are in uh, that uh, we were in chat. And we were actually talking about looking for reversals, and that takes us to uh, MAT here. So MAT was a real nice rising devil opportunity this morning. It had a sharp move up. You could have shorted anywhere as it came down to VWAP. Just held for a break. I mean, you could have gotten into this one shorted from way up here, even shorted from VWAP. Probably been okay and had a great move down. So uh, Mattel was selling off for the entire part of the day up until around 2 o'clock when I was looking at it and we were talking about looking for a bottom reversal and I said MAT looks like it's a perfect candidate uh, for that and it was just because of how long it had been selling off for. So Mattel found its bottom and then moved up here, settled above these averages and then started getting wedged in between these averages on the one minute. Uh, one thing I liked was we had a lot of asks to this area here and we had virtually no bids down below. Um, so there wasn't a lot of indication that there was a lot of interested buyers at the time. So we were, and I believe the Fed minutes were going on right about here. So I think it stalled out a little bit while people were waiting to see what was going to go on. So it held all of these averages and I got this just incredible opportunity for a risk reward, which is basically a le if it loses 1148, I can get out because if it breaks through that level, I think it's going to go back down. So, but my upside potential is just great. So I went long at 1150, 1140, break 1148, 1147. That's a three cent risk. So I was able to load up pretty well on this one. I went 600 shares into this one and I was able to get some real quick pops on it really nicely. And I've taken partials all the way up to $12 and five cents. And now I'm waiting for it to continue back up. And I'm really hoping to hold this one now. For if we're any luck for a return to VWAP and then a move beyond. Uh, Mattel is gapped up on some good news, so I've been waiting for this to turn back into turn into the strong stock it was supposed to be, and it looks like we're finally making some progress towards that. So I hope everybody enjoyed my recap. The main point I want to make sure I'm stressing here is, you know, there's no reason to get out of these trades um, too fast, and there's no reason to get into them too fast. You know, there are trades going on throughout the day, great opportunities for great entries with little risk that can get you some really nice positive moves and some real nice positive gains. I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you're all staying green. Have a good one.